all over at Stamford Bridge. It's finished. Chelsea nil, Arsenal won. A huge, huge win for the Gunners who go back to the top of the Premier League. I wondered if we would today, given, of course, Manchester City's result yesterday, the nature of how that victory came about. You felt like this was going to be the week that we were knocked off the top. But instead, Arsenal respond here at Stamford Bridge with a really, really big win. Chelsea were really good defensively, I thought, for large parts. It was really difficult to break them down. They defended their penalty area brilliantly. They'd done a great job on Bukayo Saka. They stopped Martinelli most of the time. They dished out the treatment on Gabriel Jesus to prevent him uh, from having the type of game that he would have hoped. He really should have scored in the first half, but he kept working to his credit. He kept doing things for the team. He kept crashing into people. He kept holding the ball up. He did such a good job overall. The lack of goals will be talked about, of course, but for me, you've got to give him immense uh, praise and immense credit for the team performance that he put in today. And I thought everybody to a man this afternoon in Arsenal Red was fantastic. The away support, as always, brilliant away to my left-hand side. I was kind of sitting here working, wishing that I was in the middle of it, I've got to be honest, uh, especially towards the end uh, when the celebrations popped off after the goal. The corner from Saka brilliantly delivered. I wondered if Gabriel turned it in before it crossed the line or if indeed uh, it had gone straight in and then Gabriel put it in afterwards, but or made sure, whatever you want to call it. But having seen the replay, it looked to me like Gabriel got a touch just before it went over the line. Uh, Saliba's been scoring the goals from centre-back so far this season and Gabriel's maybe dropped off a little bit in that department. But thankfully, uh, today he got back on the score sheet and uh, I thought he was immense. You know, he's been getting a lot of criticism recently. There's been a lot of debate about him, I thought, he was just as good as anybody else in the heart of that defence. Zinchenko as well, having come in, come into the side after such a long period out of the team, I thought was incredible. I thought he was superb. Did run out of steam, did run out of gas towards the end, but then, of course, was replaced by Kieran Tierney. And that's the benefit of having a squad and having a little bit of depth, particularly in that area. A little bit of a heated moment towards the end involving Granit Xhaka. You kind of look at those situations and think I don't want him to get involved in this but at the same time you know he's fighting for the cause he's fighting for the team and you know I thought the referee Michael Oliver to his credit handled the situation really well because he didn't need to start reaching for cards instead um, you know he just let it all calm down a little bit and, and the game continued and Arsenal held on I mean I'm buzzing I mean I'm not going to go into too much analysis and detail on this video we are going to of course bring you a podcast live tonight at 7 p.m and i can't wait to kind of sink my teeth into this but just wanted to bring you some reaction from a very quiet Stamford bridge which i have to say was quiet throughout to be honest because arsenal came here and played brilliantly and dominated for large periods and were the better side for large periods credit to the gunners the run continues go win at wolves next weekend ahead of the World Cup break and you can't really have asked for any more from this group of players who went through a really difficult October, who were on their knees in terms of fitness and fatigue and all of that stuff, but have managed to come here to Stamford Bridge despite playing on Thursday night and produce a performance and then a subsequent result like that. Absolutely buzzing. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new and we'll be back for the full pod a little bit later on tonight. Come on!